Welcome to the oasis in the charging desert of the North Woods, Manaqua. We are headed to Triggs and the Tesla Supercharger. Eight stalls, 250 kilowatt max V3 machines. Turning here off of the uh, interstate of the North Woods, Highway 51, on to Highway 70. So how far is the desert? Well, before the 060 station in Rhinelander opened, it's about 50 miles to Prentice and the next closest charger that's above 50 kilowatts. So we're about one mile off of 51 to Triggs. Another thing that's over here is the Walmart. Uh, so there's lots of stuff in the area with the supercharger. Uh, this one opened on November 12th, 2022. So it is a couple of years old, but capable of sharing as it's a NAX partner site. Let's get charging. We are at the uh, Tesla Supercharger here in Manaqua at uh, Triggs, the uh, grocery store. And uh, it's right off of uh, 70, as we saw uh, on the intro coming in. So let's, uh, let's get rolling. I have my Electron Vortex adapter, first time attempting to use this. Um, and we are at 54% charge right now so uh, we should be able to pull a pretty good number temperature is pretty low it's 70 degrees or so uh, we're here at 9 a.m. in the morning okay so uh, in the car I have Tesla set up to do plug-in charge. So we are on 1A connectors. 1A does not, there it is, it's already plugged in. Start charging. And the Equinox liked it. So we're ramping up now. And like I said, we're in the 54% area. So 64 kilowatts isn't really super great, but still ramping up maybe. Well, let's see if that changes at all. 64 isn't great, even at 50%. Um, so, Nana Cable, um, I think uh, if you've watched my other visits to other Tesla superchargers, you know that uh, I'm a, a fan of the cable. Um, I like how easy it is to maneuver. Yes, it is super short, and yes, I did have to basically park in the wrong spot. Um, to plug in here, but um, as we can see, there is not a lot of Tesla supercharger business apparently at uh, 9 a.m. on a Thursday morning. So, all good there. Uh, so, Nana Cable, thumbs up. Uh, we're at Triggs. Um, I'm not sure about their hours, but bathrooms, food, there's a little convenience store gas station in the parking lot. There's some other stuff, walkable, a nice restaurant. Um, so amenities, I'm going to go thumbs up as well. Minimal hassle when it's already set up in your car and I can just like hit two buttons um, as I already did. Uh, that's a thumbs up. Now speed, we're staying at 62, 63, which is not super fast, even for this slow charging car. So um, let's come back to that one after we take a look around at the station.
All right, so the car is still showing uh, 57 kilowatts, which is probably about half the speed that I would uh, expect to see. So uh, we've got the electron adapter plugged in. We're gonna go to um, one of our my other adapters. That one never has a good satisfying click, but there's a satisfying click. Okay, so we are back plugged into 1A with 4G LTE, winner in Minocqua, connectors, 1A, start. So this is now the uh, A to Z adapter and start it up again. Car took it. So we're going a little bit higher, 60, 50 back to 57. Okay, so I feel like we've given this uh, 1A a shot and um, kind of missed. So I'm not gonna try a third adapter even though I do have the adapter buffet here. Two adapters, two different charges, couldn't get above 60 kilowatts. So not super happy with that so thumbs down on uh, expected speed I think we should be able to pull more of that than that um, but uh, yeah usually surprising I've never had a, an issue with speed at a Tesla uh, supercharger so not sure what's going on up here in the North Woods Okay, we moved over to 2A. And we're gonna fire up here. You can see the green light. That means we're charging. Let's see what we're gonna start. See if we can get any higher. 63, 2, 59. Yep. So we got the same speeds on uh, 2A as we got on 1A. So uh, I'm gonna stick with thumbs down. All right, so we are headed down the road in the north woods we will see you at the next charge